light. It bathes our world in warmth and color. We think of it as ethereal, massless, always zipping through space at incredible speeds. For centuries, light was understood as waves or perhaps tiny particles called photons. These photons carry energy and information, painting the images we see and powering the internet. But what if light could do more? What if it could behave in ways that shatter our everyday intuition? Imagine light, not just as a fleeting beam but as something tangible, something that could possess properties we normally associate with matter. This is not science fiction, this is the cutting edge of quantum physics, where the familiar rules bend and break. Scientists are now exploring a realm where light can act like a liquid. Picture a fluid made of pure light flowing without friction, a superfluid. This concept alone is mind-boggling. It challenges our deepest assumptions about the nature of light. How can something without mass, something that defines the very speed limit of the universe, settle down and flow like water in a stream? The answer lies in the strange and wonderful rules of quantum mechanics. Under special conditions, photons can be coaxed into collective behaviors, mimicking the properties of fluids. This opens up entirely new avenues for controlling and manipulating light in ways previously thought impossible. Creating such an exotic state of matter, a photonic supersolid, is no simple feat. Light, by its very nature, wants to disperse, to travel outwards in all directions. To make it behave like a solid or a superfluid, scientists must first trap it, confine it, and then persuade its constituent photons to interact in highly specific ways. This requires a meticulously designed experimental setup, a kind of quantum forge where light can be molded into these new strange forms. The heart of this quantum forge is often a device called an optical microcavity. Think of it as a tiny microscopic prison for light. Researchers at institutions like the University of Bonn have pioneered these techniques. They typically use a semiconductor material such as gallium arsenide sandwiched between two incredibly reflective mirrors. These mirrors are placed extremely close together, mere micrometers apart. This tiny gap is crucial. It creates a resonant cavity where only light of specific wavelengths can exist, effectively trapping photons and forcing them to bounce back and forth countless times. Inside this micro-cavity, the gallium arsenide plays a vital role. The magic truly begins when the trapped photons inside the micro-cavity start to interact intimately with the semiconductor material, the gallium arsenide. This interaction gives birth to peculiar hybrid particles known as polaritons. A polariton is not purely light, nor is it purely matter. It is a quantum mechanical chimera, a particle that possesses a dual identity, part photon and part exciton. An exciton itself is a bound state of an electron and an electron hole, a place where an electron is missing within the semiconductor. Think of it as a temporary atom formed within the material. When a photon in the cavity has just the right energy, it can be absorbed by the gallium arsenide, creating an exciton. But because the photon is trapped between the mirrors, this exciton can then convert back into a photon by re-emitting light. This rapid back-and-forth exchange, where energy oscillates between being a photon and being an exciton, leads to the formation of a new stable quantum state, the polariton. These polaritons inherit properties from both their parents. From photons, they get a very small effective mass, allowing them to move easily. From excitons they gain the ability to interact with each other, a crucial property that photons normally lack. These polaritons are bosons, meaning they obey Bose-Einstein statistics. The concept of a supersolid is one of the most fascinating and counterintuitive ideas in condensed matter physics. It describes a state of matter that simultaneously exhibits properties of a solid and a superfluid. Imagine an ice cube that flows like water without any friction yet retains its crystalline structure. This is the paradox of a supersolid. For a photonic supersolid, this means the polariton condensate, this liquid light, also develops a rigid spatially ordered pattern like a crystal while still maintaining its ability to flow without resistance. It's a truly mind-bending combination of order and fluidity. The superfluid aspect of a photonic supersolid arises from the Bose-Einstein condensate of polaritons. As mentioned, in this state, the polaritons behave collectively as a single quantum wave. This macroscopic quantum coherence allows them to flow without scattering off imperfections or losing energy to friction. If you were to stir this liquid light, it would theoretically continue to swirl forever. This frictionless flow is a hallmark of superfluidity, famously observed in liquid helium at extremely low temperatures. Cosmic Twins, Photonic versus Atomic Supersolids 
The quest for supersolidity is not new. For many decades physicists have searched for this exotic state of matter primarily in systems of ultra-cold atoms, particularly in helium-4. The idea was that at temperatures near absolute zero, solid helium might exhibit superfluid behavior, with some of its atoms flowing frictionlessly through its own crystal lattice. This search has been fraught with challenges, with initial promising signals often turning out to be due to other complex physical effects, rather than true supersolidity. The conditions required are extreme, demanding temperatures mere fractions of a degree above absolute zero. Creating and unambiguously identifying atomic supersolids has proven to be an incredibly difficult experimental and theoretical undertaking. The interactions between atoms are complex, and achieving the delicate balance where both crystalline order and superfluidity can coexist is a formidable task. While there have been some recent breakthroughs and claims of observing supersolid behavior in specific atomic systems like ultra-cold quantum gases of magnetic atoms, these systems are often fragile and require highly specialized, complex experimental setups. The very low temperatures needed also limit their potential for practical applications. The Quantum Toolkit Revolutionizing Technology The discovery of photonic supersolids holds immense promise for new quantum technologies. New states of matter often pave the way for revolutionary applications. Photonic supersolids could be harnessed for tasks impossible with conventional materials. We are on the threshold of engineering materials with quantum properties. One exciting application is in quantum computing. Quantum computers solve problems exponentially faster than classical ones. They rely on qubits, which can exist in superpositions of states. Photonic supersolids could provide a robust platform for qubits. Their superfluid nature allows for lossless transport of quantum information. Practical Magic – The Advantages of Light-Based Systems Quantum phenomena often require extreme conditions like temperatures close to absolute zero. Maintaining these temperatures needs bulky, expensive equipment. Photonic supersolids offer a practical alternative. They can operate at higher temperatures than atomic counterparts. This is due to the small effective mass of polaritons. Lighter particles show quantum behaviors at higher thermal energies. Photonic systems are compatible with existing semiconductor and optical technologies. The dawn of photonic materials, reshaping our world. The emergence of photonic supersolids signals a new era of photonic materials. These materials use light or light matter hybrid particles like polaritons. We are moving towards using light to construct new functional substances. This shift could reshape our approach to optical devices and quantum systems. Photonic materials like supersolids could offer new functionalities. Imagine optical components that can self-reconfigure, materials whose optical properties can be dynamically tuned. This could lead to ultra-efficient optical switches and modulators. Peering into the crystal ball. The future is bright and solid. The discovery of photonic supersolids is a landmark achievement, a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless quest to understand and control the quantum world. It's a beautiful convergence of theoretical prediction and experimental tour de force. We have taken light, the most ethereal of entities, and coaxed it into a state that possesses both the frictionless flow of a superfluid and the ordered structure of a crystal. This is not just an incremental step, it's a leap into a new domain of physics, where the lines between light and matter blur in fascinating ways. Looking ahead, the implications are profound photonic supersolids and the broader field of interacting polariton systems are poised to become key players in the development of next-generation quantum technologies. The potential for fault-tolerant quantum computing, secure quantum communication networks, and ultra-sensitive quantum sensors built from these light-based materials is immense. The advantages of higher operating temperatures and compatibility with existing semiconductor fabrication techniques make these systems particularly attractive for real-world applications. We might soon see quantum devices moving out of specialized physics labs and into more widespread use. However, the path forward will still require significant research and development. Scientists will continue to explore the fundamental properties of photonic supersolids, seeking to better understand their formation, stability, and dynamics.